An ugly battle within Lotte Group's founding family sent shares in the conglomerate's affiliates soaring on Wednesday. For more on the roots of the conflict at the top of one of Korea's biggest business groups, Shin Semin reports. It's one of the biggest family feuds Korea has ever seen. The succession battle between the two sons of Shin Gyo-ko, the 92-year-old Lotte Group founder, has made headlines this week. The mud fight began when eldest son Shin Dong-ju flew out to Japan with his wheelchair-bound father on Monday in an attempt to increase his shares in Lotte subsidiaries and remove his younger brother from the board. The latest twist? Within a day, the younger son Shin Dong-bin had called an emergency meeting of the board of Lotte Holdings, the de facto holding company of Japan-based Lotte Group, and fired his father, demoting him to the position of honorary president. With that, the second son had gained the upper hand and successfully prevented his older brother from taking over. That means Shin Dong-bin is now in control of Lotte companies both in Korea and Japan, whose combined sales amounted to roughly 53 billion U.S. dollars as of last year. The drama at Lotte Group sent Lotte affiliate stocks soaring on Wednesday on speculation that the Shin brothers would start snapping up shares to solidify their control over the group. The question now is which Shin sibling will gain control of the key companies, like the Lotte Holdings and the Lotte Hotels based in Seoul. The two brothers currently hold stakes of roughly 20 percent each in the holding company, with the largest stake owned by their father. Some say the wrangling between the two siblings could eventually draw other family members into the battle. But for now, the younger Shin has lost the support of his eldest sister, the Lotte Foundation chairwoman, who has thrown her support behind her brother, Tongju. The younger brother may have gained the upper hand for now, but he still needs a larger stake in the group to become the leader of the Lotte Empire. Shin Semin, Arirang News.